Okay, um, today we will start with a new session. Uh, this part is, uh, this is the text module, that is the third, uh, first part of the third module in your syllabus. In this part, what we will do is, uh, uh, we will draw the projections of uh, sections of solids, as well as the two shape of the section. These are the two conditions. This is comparatively simple as compared to the previous two uh, parts, that is our previous two modules, uh, projection of solids as well as projection of straight lines. This is, uh, compared to them, this particular section is uh, comparatively easier. Easier in the sense um, when you are drawing the projections, in most of the cases, you have to draw only the symbol position. And then a section plane, then the true shape of the section. That is what uh, you might be, uh, you might want to draw in most of the cases. In some cases, in some rare cases only, you have to draw uh, the second position also. That is um, inclination with one of the planes. And in that case also, you have to draw the section plane and then the true shape of the section, the surface. Okay, let's see what is uh, the sections of solids and what is sectioning of solid. Actually, sectioning is uh, solid is, uh, uh, it is just a cutting a solid using some imaginary cutting plane so this is to understand the internal details of that object in our cases in our regular solids there is no internal uh, parameters are there or internal uh, specialties are there but in order to get the shape the outer shape if we cut a particular solid uh, using a cutting plane or using if you uh, think that if the, uh, you can consider it like this that is the solid is made of uh, wood the entire solid is made of wood and you are cutting uh, it using a hacksaw so what will happen in that case two additional surfaces will be made the cut surfaces two additional cut surfaces will be made and both the surfaces will be of the same shape because uh, one has to join with the other it, uh, it will be of the same shape. So what we want to find out is the true shape of the, that particular section, the new, newly generated uh, surface. That is what we want to do. So the action of cutting is called actually sectioning. That is why this particular uh, part is, or this particular module is known as uh, sections of solids. And the plane which is uh, cutting the solid is known as the section plane. So the plane through which we cut that particular solid is known as the section plane. So there are two different types of section planes that we will encounter. One is a section plane which is perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. So since the uh, section plane is perpendicular to VP, uh, it will act as a straight line or it will see, we can see it as a straight line in the front view. So the section plane appears as a straight line in the front view when the section plane is perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. Or this is the same as an actually inclined plane. See this case, see the first case. In this case, uh, if you see the section, this is the section plane. So the section plane will be seen as a straight line. So it is inclined to HP also. So in this case, if we remove this upper part, if we cut this particular solid, this is a cone. If we cut this cone through this particular straight line or this particular section plane, and then we remove the upper part, what will be the shape, the shape that we obtain in the top view as well as the true shape of that particular section. That is what uh, our aim is to. Uh, is to uh, draw this particular this type of uh, solids in uh, orthographic projections that is that is the concept in this particular chapter so then the second type of section plane is uh, section plane which is perpendicular to hp and inclined to vp that is uh, the concept of uh, an auxiliary vertical plane auxiliary vertical plane you might be remembering that is, uh, when the plane is inclined at an angle to VP and uh, it is perpendicular to HP. So this is auxiliary vertical plane. And the auxiliary vertical plane will be seen as a straight line in the top view. 
So when the uh, plane is inclined to VP and a perpendicular to HP, uh, in the top view we will we can see it as a straight line. So see this case. In this case, the section plane is in the top view. The section plane is visible in the top view. In the front view also it is visible, but the thing is that the entire front view is taken up by the front view. I mean, uh, from this uh, uh, section plane. So uh, we cannot denote, uh, we cannot determine the boundaries of that particular section plane, and uh, so we avoid it. But in the top view, it is seen as uh, only a straight line, so we can represent it using a straight line. So in this case, again, a cone is section, and uh, uh, in this case, the section plane is perpendicular to HP and uh, some incline at some angle with the VP. So. Uh, that is the second guy's type of section planes. So, so these two types of section planes you have to remember. That is, if the section plane is perpendicular to VP, in the front view you will get a uh, straight line. That is the section plane. Uh, in the if the section plane is perpendicular to HP, in the top view you will get the section plane as the straight line. So the, this is this. This is the two concepts. Then after launching a section plane either in the front view or top view, the path towards the observer is assumed to be removed. That, that is the condition of most of the cases. So this is the observer. He, observer will be uh, here. So the path towards the observer is, when we cut it into two parts, the path towards the observer is this part. This part is assumed to be removed. And uh, uh, in this case, here is the observer. Here, here is the observer, and the part towards the observer is this part. So this part is assumed to be removed. Right. Then another condition is as far as possible, the smaller part is assumed to be removed. In most of the cases, the parts to part towards the observer is removed, unless otherwise specified. So as far as possible, the smaller part is assumed to be removed. When the part towards the observer is larger part, then in that case, uh, the larger part will be removed, only the smaller part will remain, but it is a rare case. In most of the cases, the part towards the observer is removed, as well as the smaller part is removed. So these are the important terms that we will encounter in sections of solids. The first part is, the first thing is the section of section plane. Uh, that is a straight line in the front, either in the front view or in, uh, in the top view. Uh, it is a straight line in the front view if uh, uh, the section plane is perpendicular to VP, and if the section plane is perpendicular to HP, it will be a straight line in the top view. So that is the section plane. Then uh, here is the section the surface. So this is the true shape of the uh, section the surface. True shape means the actual shape, actual how it will be looking like if we uh, see it parallel to that particular plane. If we are looking into it uh, parallel to that particular plane, what will be the shape? So that is the true shape. So this is the true shape of the section. Then the apparent shape of the section. Apparent shape is uh, the shape that we will see if we see it in the top view, if the section plane is in the front view. And uh, the apparent shape uh, in the front view, if we if the top uh, section plane is in the top view, so that sort of things. So if the section plane is in this case, the section plane is in the front view. So in the top view, what we will see the projected surface, the projected surface that is the apparent shape of the section. So then, uh, in order to determine that or in order to denote that this particular surface is a sectioned surface, we draw the sectioned lines also. The section lines are commonly known as, uh, commonly drawn as 45, at an angle 45 degree to the XY line. So this angle, this uh, inclination, inclination with the XY. So if this is parallel to XY line, this inclination is normally 45 degrees. So this we will draw in inside the uh, section, the surface only. It is where we have actually drawn uh, we have actually cut uh, the particular solid. So this is the uh, concept that is uh, important in this particular section or in this particular uh, chapter actually.
So, as I said, this is comparatively simple. Comparatively simple in the case, what you have to do is you have to draw the front view, the top view, and then the section line, then the section uh, surface in the top view or front view, depends. Uh, section, the uh, apparent shape of the section, then the true shape. So, only this much that is comparatively easier. So, let's see some of the typical section planes and the typical shapes of the section. So, if a cone is cut in different uh, shapes or if a cone is cut using different section planes, that we can obtain either a triangle or an ellipse or a parabola or a hyperbola. So, how we, when, when we cut a cone, with the section plane passing through the apex, then we will get a triangle as the true shape. So this is it. So this is the cone and the section plane is uh, passing through the apex. In that case, what we obtain is a isosceles triangle, a triangle with the two opposite, two faces, I mean two edges equal in length, the slant height. That, that is uh, uh, the true, I mean, this uh, true shape of the section. Then, if the section plane is uh, passing through the generators, it cuts two opposite generators. In that case, you will get an ellipse. So, like this, th this is an ellipse. It is uh, cutting through the two opposite uh, generators. So, that is, you will get an ellipse. Or if the section plane is parallel to one of the end generators, see this line is this section line is parallel to this uh, edge uh, edge in the front view. So if uh, it is parallel to this particular edge, then what you obtain is the shape will be a parabola. This is a parabola, and then you will get a hyperbola if the section plane is parallel to the axis. If the section plane is like this, uh, section plane. This is the axis of the cone and this line is the section plane. So if the section plane is parallel to the uh, axis, then you will get a hyperbola. So these are the four different uh, possible shapes that you, you will obtain when uh, you cut a cone using a section plane. When the section plane is passing through the apex, it is a triangle. When the section plane is uh, passing through two opposite generators, then it is an ellipse. When the section plane is parallel to the end generator, it is a parabola. If the section plane is parallel to the axis, then it is a hyperbola. Then, if you cut a cylinder through the generators, if you cut a cylinder through the generators, then what you obtain is it is a, another ellipse. So this is again an elliptical shape. And if you cut a square pyramid through all the slant edges, it cuts all the slant edges. So in that case, you will get a trapezium. So these are the possible shapes or general shapes that you should keep in mind. That is when you are cutting a cylinder through the generators, you won't get a square that you should keep in mind. So what you will obtain is uh, it is an ellipse. So when you cut a square pyramid through all the slant edges and the section plane is inclined to the axis also, that is also important. If the section plane is inclined to the axis, if the section plane is perpendicular to the axis, then you, obviously you will get a square. But if uh, it is inclined to the axis, then obviously you will get a trapezium. A trapezium with the two parallel sides, this edge as well as this edge will be parallel edges. This edge as well as this edge parallel edges and these two edges will be of equal length. This edge as well as this edge will be of equal length. So that is the concept. So now we move on to the exercise. Any doubts till now? So I hope all are with me. Okay, let's continue. Yes, sir. Yeah. He cut down on the section building with okay. Uh, in this case, uh, the first two four figures representing uh, uh, sectioning a cone using four different planes. The first one is the section plane is through the apex, the section plane is passing through the apex. The apex is the single most point at the top, the topmost single point that is the apex. So 
if the section plane is passing through the apex then you will get the true shape the true shape of that particular section will be a triangle you will understand it better when we do some exercises so then in the second case uh, the section plane is uh, passing through two end uh, two end generators it is not neither parallel to uh, the section i mean the axis nor perpendicular to the axis nor it is passing through this um, apex so in that case what you will get is an ellipse the true shape will be an ellipse so then the second the next and the third condition is the section plane is parallel to the end generator so here this is an end generator this one one of the end generators and the second end generator is this one so these two slant edges in this particular triangle represents two oh, sorry end generators of the core so if the section plane is parallel to the one of the end generators then what you will get is a parabola the true shape the true shape of or the shape that is generated the surface that is generated by section e that is the parabola then the section plane is parallel to the axis if the section plane is parallel to the axis then what you will obtain is a hyperbola uh, hyperbolic shape so th that is the four different uh, uh, shapes that you can obtain by sectioning a cone when you section a an ellipse i mean section a yeah. cylinder and the uh, section plane is neither parallel nor perpendicular to the axis so in that case what you will get is an ellipse this is an ellipse so again uh, the section plane is cutting a square pyramid through all the slant edges such that uh, uh, the section plane is neither perpendicular nor parallel to the axis so in that case what you will obtain is a trapezium so this is it there is nothing much into it when you does some of the exercises you will get to know what is uh, this you will understand it better okay